There's no going back. You've changed things. Forever. You're listening to McMara Enable Show. Right here, right now, right here. Only on 94.3 KILO. And now, breaking news. Last week, Hostess of America decided to throw in the towel and file for bankruptcy. <laughs> and to hear what the American people are thinking, we now go to Gumdrop, a reporter at the scene. Hello! This is Gumdrop coming to you live on the streets, talking to you about the absence of Twinkies. <laughs> Let's see what the local livestock have to say about it. Excuse me, sir. How do you feel about the fact that Hostess of America is going bankrupt? Aren't you going to miss the Twinkies? Actually, I don't eat Twinkies, so I don't really give a rat's ass. Ouch, but what about Ding Dongs? Now, Ding Dongs are a little bit better than Twinkies, but not a whole lot because we got Chocolate. You know what I'm talking about? If it's about that one movie with Johnny Depp, then yes! Okay, but you know, most of that stuff is, I mean, it's, 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 it's too dry, it's too sweet. I can feel the sugar around my teeth as it wraps around my mouth, okay? It gets stuck up in the side pocket cheeks there and I look like a chipmunk. I taste it for the next five hours. Oh, tell me about it. That always happens when I have ding-dongs. Well, that was fun. Let's talk to somebody else. Pardon me, senoritas. How do you feel about the fact that Hostess is going bankrupt? Go. As a child, I love Hostess. I feel very sad that they're going to go bankruptcy. Um, well, it's sad. You know, the economy in this country is suffering. It's kind of... And it hurts everybody's pockets right now. See. Now, do you all partake in the consumption of Hostess products? Particular? No, I'm not. No, I'm sugar free. Sugar free? Me too. My mother told me I don't need sugar because I'm sweet enough. <laughs> While some people it doesn't affect, other people, namely the ones who do partake in the Twinkies, for them, it is taking a serious toll on. I don't know what to think about it. <laughs> Hostess has been such a part of my life for the past decade. <laughs> I sleep on a bed of Twinkies. <laughs> Please don't leave me. I can change. Heartbreaking. Simply heartbreaking. Let's see what the local police force had to say. Officer! And what is your name? Officer R.L. Klataska. Officer, what do you think about Hostess going bankrupt and the fall of Zingers as we know it? It sucks, let me tell you. Going out of, going out of business because no one's buying Twinkies, that's their best seller. I love Hostess. So you don't think it's healthier for America? No, I don't think it's a healthier thing for America. Basically what I think America needs to do is stand up and take responsibility for their own BS. No one forces anybody to eat Hostess cupcakes or whatever. I mean, it's just like a TV set. If you don't want to see what's on, turn the channel. Ha! Nice! I like that guy. And if you don't like our show, you could just turn the channel. Word. No doubt. For real, son? Yo. That's Colorado Springs Police. Keep it a real, son? Now, Gumdrop, did you have a difficult time finding people to interview? Oh, it was unbelievable. Everybody kept saying, well, I don't do that. No cupcakes for me. <laughs> but let me go get one of my friends. I think they would be better for the interview. So you're just like waiting for one of their friends to come back. What what do they bring back? Like one of their chubby friends? Exactly. <laughs> it's like, wait a second. Let me go get my friend Chubbo. Oh wait, they're busy in the corner shooting insulin. <laughs> 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 anyway, ninety four point three kilo. You're listening to the McMara and Abel <laughs> show. Coming up, we got more stuff. And if you stick around, I'll tell you what rhymes with car engine. Kilo. 94.3 Do it! Come on! Do it! Pure Rock Station <laughs> <laughs> 